Hey there, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we'll be taking a look at a slightly more practical application of Copilot. We'll be using Copilot to do some simple programming homework. Specifically, we'll be using the first coding assignment of Harvard CS50 class, which is a basic programming course. It is completely free and online, so you can also check it out for yourself as well. Um, so if we go to the website, the first uh, programming assignment is actually Mario. The main idea of the assignment is to print out uh, these hashtags in the format to imitate the appearance of these triangle pyramids um, in the actual Nintendo Super Mario Brothers game. So we want to write some code that takes in an input from the user for the specific height uh, between 1 and 8, and then print out this triangle with hashtags on the terminal with this little gap in between. Um, so I've already downloaded the starter code that came with the assignment. Uh, in order to help Copilot get started, uh, we'll provide it with a few examples of the expected behavior. Um, so it knows exactly what we're trying to do. I've already prepared this beforehand. And uh, now let's have it do its magic. Um, so first thing it's doing is, okay, let's go ahead and let it go run. So it's going to grab the height. Um, so this is all correct, but uh, instead of 0 and 23, this should be 0 and 8. And let's go ahead and run it and just see real quick what it looks like. So make Mario. Mario, we'll give it a height of 3. And it's only printing out the left-hand side as of now. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's wrong with the code. It's only doing part of the expected behavior. Um, let's see here. So it's printing out the spaces beforehand and it's printing out the hashtags. Um, first of all, it has an off by one here. It's printing off the first thing with two. We only want it to start with one. Um, this is not the best way to fix the problem, but the easiest would just be for us to start one less. Um, so now if we do this. Uh, I did not update it. There we go. Now it's printing out the left hand side of the triangle without issues. Now we have to have it print out the right hand side plus the spaces. So what we can do here is just have it print out a space or two spaces. So print F. Let's see if we can. Okay, let's actually let it do the work. So I'm going to have it print out spaces okay we only need two print out two spaces okay now okay let's see if it works um, I have a feeling that it's going to look weird or it does work um, so there it is. We can go ahead and try out with some other inputs. Let's try nine. Of course, it's not going to work. If we try negative one, it's not going to work. Try five. And that is the assignment complete. So this is a slightly more uh, practical application of Copilot, although I do not condone cheating. Um, you can see it is quite helpful in taking out a bulk portion of the necessary brain power that's necessary to do some of these assignments and similarly um, when you're coding any other practical application i think copilot does help a little bit with that as well thank you so much for watching um, and i hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like down below and let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like me to take a look at thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one